Okay, so today we are going to do a few different ways for you to add photos to text in Silhouette. Um, I am using the business edition, so I can go to the internet, grab, copy, and paste. Um, the upgrade for this, I believe, is around $50, but it is well worth it. Um, or excuse me, you would have to upgrade if you just bought your silhouette and you're opening it up, you would have to upgrade it to designer edition and then business edition. Or if you just wanted to go straight from there, it's a one-time fee um, to buy the to buy the code. I believe it's around $100. Um, you can check on silhouetteamerica.com. Um, but let's go ahead and get in here. And um, a lot of people call it photos to text. Some people, uh, there's different ways that they say it. But we are, I'm going to show you um, several different ways to do this. All right. So I like to either do Jersey on my font or impact. So uh, when that said, I'm going to type out my word, come over here and you can see that I use it a lot. So impact, okay? And I am going to, so when you are wanting to make something bigger and not stretch it, See, that would be stretching it. If I want to undo that, you can go up here to undo or click Control Z, and that brings you back to your last one. All right, so I want to make this bigger, so I'm going to drag it, but I want to make it to where it fits on here. All right, so we are going to find a, just a random picture so that way I can put inside here. So I am going to go and I'm going to go to Google. Okay, and I found this one right here. It'll be really neat for what I'm wanting to do. So I would right click because like I said, I have, I have business edition. All right, so now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. Okay, so just seeing this, I know that I'm going to have to draw it out just a little bit. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because this dark area right here, um, I don't want it to distort the tree, so I'm going to kind of use this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. I have this highlighted. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to send to back. Okay, so now you can kind of see. I'm going to go up about where I think it would look nice. All right, and then I'm going to click I have both of them highlighted now. So now I'm going to go over here to the modify page and I am going to select crop, okay? All right. Oops. I did not mean to move that. So all of these are loose. If I like the picture, if I like the picture, I will leave it, but I want to show you another step. So we're gonna go over here to the fill panel. All right, this is really neat, um, especially for pictures. So you're gonna go over and for the fill panel, you're gonna click up here to the fill pattern, okay? You're gonna come down to advanced options and you're going to go and click pan pattern. Okay, that gives you this little uh, four-way arrow. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is if I don't like it, I can move it over a little bit, move it up. If I want to do like that, you can keep going. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of the water, come back over, make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so I like that one. So I'm gonna keep it there. Now, I can print this out. I can print this out for sublimation. Now, let me show you. If you wanted to do an outline or if you want a border on this, you can still do that. You can go to your lines, or rather, sorry, you can click this. You can go to your offset, okay? You're gonna click the offset. I'm going to make mine a little bit smaller. Okay, and I'm going to click apply, all right? Now I can go over here and I can do my line colors. And if I wanted to, I could change it to a little bit darker, the darkest part, and it out in that, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to grab You see how it's changing it? So it will go. So I'm going to click that one. All right. Come over to my line. I'm sorry. I went. There we go. I had to go back to my. Uh, and I can still change this if I would like. I could go down to the advanced options and I could drag and make it red or I can do control Z and go back to where I was, or you can go to the undo button. Okay, this is one way to do that. All right, so I am going to move this one over. All right, <clears throat> there is another way that you can Let me go ahead and I am going to actually duplicate this a couple of times. So that way, this will be our word that we are going to use on all of these and show you the different methods. Okay. All right, so about that size. Now, if I want to duplicate a bunch of times, I can hit my control button and my arrow down and my arrow down and down. So now I have three more copies. And I'm just going to move these over and we are going to focus on this one. Now, another way that you can do this again is you can go over to your fill and you can go, this one right here is for your color. This one is for gradient, and then this one is for patterns. So say I'm going to scroll down and I am going to do, this one won't look good, but um, just to show you an idea. <clears throat> All right, so there is one right there. Um, you can use patterns there's a way that you can turn around and you can save your patterns and put those in there also um just another way for you to do that um easy so we are going to bring it over here and i'm going to grab a few generic photos and we will show you i will show you how you can put in each letter so so I have my word right here. So my second one, I am going to take this and I am going to, um, I'm going to ungroup, okay? So now I have one by itself. I am going to, okay, I have a photo right here that I'm going to do and I am going to click that one and come over to the modify page and I'm going to click crop, whoops. I have to select both and then press 
prompt rather, sorry. So now I have this one in there and I can go and search another one with a, uh, okay. Whoops. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do two together just to show you. All right, and I need to select both of the letters that I'm doing plus the picture, and I am going to press crop. Okay, let me go back and let me grab one more little photo. All right, and this is just to show you. Okay, all right, so I am going to I'm going to need to make this one a little bit larger. Okay, you don't really want to stretch your photo in this. Um, if you have to, you can make it bigger. That way it looks correct. So now I'm going to select the letters and the picture and I am going to go back to modify and I'm going to press crop. Okay. So if I wanted to, I could do like this one and put a outline on it. If I wanted to change the colors, um, you can put it behind, you can make it to where, okay, I think I want to print this one on a, block, on, on a blue shirt, okay? So I am going to make a square, okay? Go over here to my color panel and I am going to make a blue shirt, okay? This is similar to my shirt. Now I'm going to send this one to back because I wanna put it on there and see how it's gonna look, okay? That looks fine for me. All right, and then another way you can save, you can actually merge a file. I don't think I have, okay. I can go over here and I can open and merge and we will just see what pictures I have. Okay, I can do Control, Shift and O and see, there we go. All right, so, I'm trying to see if I actually have like a little picture. Okay, here is the backdrop that I used for um, one of our sublimations that I made. Okay, so I'm going to use it, even though it's not a beach, just to show you that. All right, so now I'm going to. I have the letters and I have the picture done, modify, and I'm going to go to crop, okay? So you can pull a file or you can pull a picture. Um, the reason why I'm not using a picture on these is because um, I'm gonna print these out and they are going to be for, for the store for samples. So what you can do, you can either print these out and use the heat transfer, or you can sublimate them. And if I was going to sublimate, like I want to, I want to move that one over and I want to move that one over. I am going to sublimate this one right here, all right? And then what I will do, I'm going to pick the shirt and I believe it's gonna be a light one. So I'm going to need to get the light transfer paper. And this one I am going to mirror. Um, I would turn my registration marks on so that way it would cut it out. And then I would press it on there. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Um, let me, let me go ahead and I will show you on here um, 
to turn the registration marks on. I'm sorry, I should have went another step. So I go to page setup and I pass up my grid and I go over here to the registration marks. All right, I am going to turn them on, but I need to go back over to my page and make it for an eight and a half, okay? So it's not, I'm not gonna do a cutting mat on that one. And my media size is going to be letter because that's what you print. Okay. All right, so this one is not going to print. It only prints, or actually it will only print eight and a half by 11. So I need to, I need to control down, all right? And I am going to make another one to fit that size. And then I will print this one out in sublimation and I will cut this one and they will be in the store for you to look at. All right, guys, if y'all have any other questions or anything, please let me know. If there's something else that y'all would like to see, um, let me know, drop a comment. Um, and thanks for watching.